My name is Lanny LaValle, and that was in E4. So I was to report to Newport, Rhode Island, to the USS Kepler on the 16th of August of 1966. So reported, I had a, a couple of weeks then at that time to go from San Diego to home in northern New York, and I think I had 10 or two weeks leave and reported the 16th as stated. So when aboard ship was kind of intimidated by the size of the ship, I thought a destroyer uh, live on a lake. I live on a lake of home, but you know, they're just lake boats, river boats, old, you know, not anything that big. And I was actually pretty amazed at the size of a destroyer. And I said, wow, these things are just huge, not knowing the size of the other ships and ours comparatively to the other Navy vessels. So next thing I turned around and looked at a uh, destroyer tender, which was even larger than the destroyer. And I said, well, okay, this was large, but I said that one was really something I had never experienced or wasn't even aware of. They made anything that large that could be on water. So anyway, went aboard the ship on the uh, <clears throat> 16th of August. I was told we were making way the next morning for uh, Key West, Florida. We were doing some ASW exercises down in Key West, anti-submarine warfare. So we went down to um, Key West, and I think we did two or three weeks of training, then went back to Newport, Rhode Island, we were there approximately a, maybe a week at most, and we made our way. We told that we were heading to Vietnam. And uh, recalling that we stopped in Bayonne, New Jersey, on the way down, uh, took on armament. Then we stopped, if I remember correctly, in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And from San Juan, uh, straight through uh, the Panama Canal to Hawaii and spent seven days uh, in Hawaii as leave. And of course, on the way, you're going through exercises to prepare us for what was in store and ahead. A lot of uh, general quarter exercises, um, a lot of you know, qualifying for different things aboard ship, just preparing us for uh, Vietnam. Uh, spent seven days in Hawaii, it was interesting, uh, where I had been, I had never really been outside of the United States except Canada. So it was interesting to have learned and talked about some of these places, the Panama Canal, the Caribbean, the islands, you know, and then actually uh, seeing them, it was, well, you know, gee, this is going to be all right. So from Hawaii, the time we spent in Hawaii, went to the, we were actually uh, tied to the pier right across from the USS Arizona, so it was interesting to go see that. We did tours, myself and a few buddies, did some tours of the, uh, of the mainland, spent some time down on the, on the beach, um, you know, just enjoyed and relaxed a bit and learning a bit about Hawaii. Going and seeing Punch Bowl, what they, I remember seeing Punch Bowl, where they had the World War II uh, sailors, service people that were uh, killed in action or for some other reason buried in the cemetery and I remember one of the big ones they said was Ernie Pyle who was a writer uh, correspondent for one for the Associated Press I believe during that war who was also killed I think in Guatemala uh, Canal something in one of the islands he was he was killed but he was buried in Punch Bowl too so that was interesting and um, 